So the last time I fished at Salem Lake here in Central North Carolina, I got skunked. But this trip was way better, largely due to the fact that this was my first time putting a trolling motor on my kayak. On this trip, I caught my two heaviest fish of 2022 so far, so stay tuned. This is episode 11 of the Fishing Adventures of Jesse James, and I am trolling from a kayak. Oh, there's a fish. I think. Yeah. Whoa. What a crappy. My goodness. Wow. That's a slab. That's a freaking slab, baby. Wow. He came unhooked, but he got me. Wow. Nice fish. Nice crappy. Let's see how long he is. 12 and a quarter. 12 and a quarter. There, there we go. Wow. First, first fish I ever caught trolling. Now I guess I know why people troll. And that was on the Rapala jointed crankbait. I am out here trolling from my kayak. I caught a fish probably within about 10 minutes as I look at myself with my weird headgear. That was pretty cool. That was a that was a 12 and a quarter inch crappy crappie. Just gotta remember to reset that drag. We'll see what happens. thought that was a fish and I'm highly disappointed now because it's not it's a crankbait that has lost its mojo it's lost its way oh yeah I think I got it I think I got it I think I got it yes look at that it was fishing line just so you know I post about one fishing video every week here on YouTube and I would love your support it's totally free, so please consider subscribing to my channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos. Oh wow, that's a fish. Whoa! Oh wow, that's a bass. Wow, look at that thing. <clears throat> wow. Nice fish. That's a striper. 18 and a quarter. Nope. 
19, 19 inch, 19 inch striped bass. Wow. Oh. Nice. Oh, he was ready. All right, so it's inevitable. I gotta take my my big crankbait there. I gotta take it off and put something else on. It's diving too deep. It's getting hung up on everything. It also hasn't caught a fish yet, and the other one is caught too, so. All right, this is the SPRQ, Sports Professional Gamagatsu hooks. Little Cruise, Little Cruise, Little John MD50, whatever. I don't. I'm lost. Crankbait. Oh, what about the fish? How about that? Fish number three today. Smallest one, but nothing wrong with him. There's a fish. Another bass. A little bit bigger. Oof. Get off of his gill plate there. Not a bad fish. Oh. There's another one on the little Jimmy John crate. Oh wow, that's a fish. I thought it was a snag at first. That's a dang fish, son. Wow. Another striper. Heck yeah, baby. Wow. Man, I love catching these stripers. I've never caught any before, ever. Wow. Oh. Oh. Whoa. Yeah. Dang. Not the striper, but he's bleeding bad. Oh no, he's bleeding. Ah. Dang, son. That sucks. Yeah, he's bleeding. 
And he inhaled that crankbait. And I hope he I hope he survives. I don't know. I don't know if he's gonna survive. He absolutely inhaled that crankbait. I've never seen a fish swallow a crankbait like that. Let's see how long he is. Another 19, about 19 inches. He doesn't seem to be bleeding anymore. So hopefully it was just very temporary. So I ended up keeping that last bass to eat since he was not going to make it anyway. I will definitely be trolling again in the future, so if you have any crankbaits that produced a lot of fish while trolling, please let me know in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching this video. I'll see you next time.